Okay, so we're going to um, set up Redux in this video. And if you don't know, Redux is basically a state management system that's created uh, for larger front end applications. And it's mostly used for React. However, you can use it for whichever framework you'd like. So something like Vue or Angular. It's just mostly used with React. Uh, mostly because it's a uh, it's very functional in in the design principles, and also I recommend that if this not be your first Redux project, um, as I'm maybe going a bit fast. But this the main website here has um, some really good tutorials uh, for learning Redux, and. With the intro out of the way, let's start doing Redux. So, first, we are going to create a directory. Let's actually, I'm going to start the server. I'm going to start both servers here. And then I'm going to open it up. Go back. I'm going to open up a second terminal here to actually um, do work. So, let's go into the clients. And we're going to create a directory in source called store. And then in store, actually, let's, let's go all the way in there. So store and open up. So the store is basically global state. So the state that handles all of our components. Uh, so our app and then nested inside the children components. <clears throat> So, let's see, uh, we're going to need an actions directory, actions, and also a reduces. So, more folders, and then I also have to touch, okay, so actions needs its own index.js, reducers needs its own index.js and then the root of us, our store also needs an index.js okay there is a lot of files that was just created so um, part of the reason why I created our server in such a way where names are used multiple times is to kind of lessen the the confusing nature of Redux, and also it's this is um it's a good project structure uh, to get used to. So which index is this? Okay, so let's see. Let's actually go all the way to the root of our client. So cd dot dot slash dot dot. Okay, we're in the client. Clear. What? Do we need? We need um, install. We need to install Redux, of course. Uh, React Redux, I believe, to connect the two. Um, Redux Thunk to use to be able to do asynchronous calls within our actions and reducers. And I. I think that's all. All right, let's install all of those. This might take a while. Yeah, it's taking a while. All right, let's open this up. There we go. So there's our three packages. Um, so at the root of our store, we're gonna need to initialize the initialize Redux. So import from Redux. And we're also going to need to import thunk from Redux thunk. All right, so in here we need a we need to be able to create the store. Um, I think that's it for now. And at the very bottom, we need to export const store and create. Store. Okay, what do we need in here? Um, 
Do, 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 do. Well, nothing. We actually have to create our actions and reducers. Um, I, oh, I missed one thing. So we also need types. So touch, where am I? Source, store, and we need action types. Stop. Oops, JS. I've been working a lot with TypeScript, so I don't mind the TS. Um, so what types do we need? Let's uh, let's just start with our error handler, just like how we started our server. So, gonna const add error, and then it's gonna be equal to the string add error. And we're also gonna need to export const remove error. It's also equal to the string remove error. Um, Let's also maybe start um, authentication in this one. I might have to uh, separate this into two videos just because of how long <coughs> Redux could take, but we will we'll see. Alright, so the action types are ready to use. And let's first do our error handler. So we need an action and a reducer. So source store actions slash uh, error.js as well as source store actions slash, no, not actions, reducers slash error. Error.js. So here we go. Two files, error and error. Uh, this one's coming from reducers, and this one's coming from actions. So let's see. Um, OK, so let's see. Let's do, let's do the actions first. So we need to import the types. So. Let's just do this for tab completion, action types. I want add error, and I want remove error. So let's see. We're going to make a function called add error, which takes in an error, and it's going to return um, add error and error and then we're also going to do another function for removing errors error and type is remove error um, actually when we remove the error we're going to it's going to be null, so we don't need a payload. Um, just to explain a couple things. Um, so, actually, this is going to be empty. And, okay. So, I'm using the error functions here um, and returning an object. And all actions need to have the action type, which is what we defined in the other file. And also the payload, or the actual data that we're sending. So add error will return with the type of add error, as well as the actual error message itself. And then remove error will return the type of remove error, and no data because removing error means that we're taking away the the data. So just to make things clear, we're gonna actually create our reducer. So we're gonna first import our types. Uh, from uh, dot dot slash action types and now let us do tab completion so remove error 
All right, so in our reducers, it's going to be export defaults. Uh -huh. do, do, do. And this function is going to take in uh, two things. So the state, as well as the action. And then, uh, since we only have two, we can use an if else, but it's common practice to use a switch just to, oh, excuse me, uh, just to keep with convention, we're going to use the switch statement. So we're going to do action.types, and this will check with the error types, so the add error or remove error, whichever one. And then we it's gonna use cases. So if the error is um, if the action type is of the type add error, we're gonna return the object of the state and the message, which is gonna be held in action dot error. Which, if you go back to here, that that would be this part. All right, and then we also need a couple other um, cases. So remove error, remove error, which would also return state, and then message is it's going to be removed. So we're going to use null, and then at the end of every switch statement there should be a default return uh, just in case um, so return state uh, da, 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 something went wrong return state um, <clears throat> I think I want to break here right no? Why not? Default. Oh, that's why. Default. And I'm not going to need the brakes. So, there we go. So, what is the state parameter? It's um, the entire state of our application. Or just this part. So, we're going to do this. Um, no. So, <clears throat> the state held here. Um, by default, it's going to be message no. And then if any of these cases um, exist or is triggered, it will return these states. Um, yeah, that's that looks right. OK. So let's go back to our root, our store root, and implement the errors. So we need to um we need a root reducer. So import root reducer from dot slash reducers. And that would be the index here. Oh man. This is a lot. Uh let's go back to our action index really quick and just do the Export everything um, from dot slash error. So we're just exporting all the files in this file. Um, nothing too crazy. The root reducer, however, is going to be a little more involved. So, okay. So in the root reducer, we're going to need to add combine reducers from Redux and export default combined reducers and send in the error. And the error, of course, has to come from the file that we're um, that we just created. Error. Okay, so quite a lot of things just to get the errors running and I almost forgot to fill this in 
uh, which is going to be the root reducer in here. Um, let's see. Let's actually create a default state. So default state, which we're going to define here. So const ugh, default state equals to the object. Um, error is going to be equal to message no. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough for this video. The, we'll continue in the next video to actually add more to Redux and then be able to test it. Um, yeah.